guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be sorting out some of the plants I am currently struggling with. So repotting, chopping, tossing in the trash. Just kidding. I'm not throwing any plants away. I really want to get my Monstera adansonii repotted. I don't even remember when I repotted that plant. Like look at how bald all of these vines are. You can kind of see it a little bit. I'm not gonna take it off the wall though because I feel like that would just be treacherous. I'm literally just gonna take it out of the pot right here. I'm going to be repotting it into this pot because there's no drainage hole. And I can't wait to see how root bound this is. Imagine it's not root bound at all. I'm gloved up, I think we should zoom in a little bit. But I'm not moving the plant. Whew. Let's get this out of here. Boom. I think I should rinse this out. Yeah, that's better. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It was pretty root in there. Hope it's not blurry or anything, but. Oh my God. I already knew this was the situation. Same substrate as always. I'm praying that it transfers well into this pot and that I don't get a lot more leaf loss. That literally took two seconds and I've been putting it off for so long. But moving right along and staying in the repot realm. I have this Anthurium that I just stuck into semi-hydro a few months ago. I think I picked this up at Lowe's randomly. And honestly, I don't think it's taking that well to the semi-hydro transfer. So I kind of want to get it out of this pot, take a look at the roots. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a root plug in there. Ew, there's a lot of rotted roots. Ew. -y. There are some good ones though. Like this one looks good. There was a white one somewhere. Oh, this one right here looks like a new fat root like all these short ones look pretty new unless they're broken there's a root ball in there so i'm just taking that off because all the roots in it are like kind of rotted anyway but when i first switched it to semi-hydro that root ball was locked in there i think i'm gonna have to go rinse this again because ewe i mean they don't look that much different whatever and if you're gonna comment saying that you've never seen and in theory, I'm in moss or just don't. I don't care. <laughs> this plant is the plant that I care the least about in my collection because it's crusty as hell. This will have to work for now. I've been working with moss a lot lately and I'm really, really loving it. Especially after seeing how well my Alocasia Jacqueline Corms and my Philodendron El Chaco Red little chunk is doing. I'm ready to put moss on everything, truthfully. All right, that's enough. This is very light, this is not stable, this is not permanent, but it is what it is for now. Moving on to more fun stuff, we are propagating my Hoya Serpents today. I'm not really trying to hold on to it because it has peduncles on it. The peduncles are not even blooming. I'm not waiting till spring, the plant is probably going to die before spring. I've had Hoya Serpents in my collection long enough to know this is not doing okay. This is my other Hoya Serpens that just started growing, honestly, but it looks a lot better. The leaf quality is a lot better on that plant versus this one. Like, look how light these leaves are. This is the same exact plant, and you can tell this one's healthy, and this one just isn't. I am a little bit more confident when it comes to propagating Hoya Serpens because I've had so much success in the past. So I can't even lie, I'm pretty excited to do this. And if I'm being honest, Hoya Serpens is not a plant that I'm that excited about anymore, so... Maybe because it's not growing well. I feel like as soon as my plant starts having issues, it's not my favorite anymore. Like, 
my alocasia jacqueline you can't even see my alocasia jacqueline back there because she's doing so bad but i have a feeling my alocasia jacqueline are really really gonna take off when the weather starts to warm up so i'm so excited i got these ginormous scissors because i can't find my little scissors here's another look at my hoya serpents i feel like the last time i propagated my entire hoya serpents it looked exactly like this i'll show you the blooms really quick or the peduncles there's one down there. I don't even care, actually. I'm gonna chop off some of the vines. So here's one. I'm gonna chop pretty low, actually. Cause I don't even want this plant in this pot anymore. Oh my God, look at this one. Wowzies. I think it's gonna do fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I hate when the vines are like that long though. It makes me wanna leave those ones in there. So I think I am going to just leave those little vines in there because I don't want to chop. Oops, I don't want to chop these up. I'm literally taking one leaf cuttings, so like that. Oh my God, this one barely has any node to it. Oh my God. This little tiny guy, probably gonna die, but it's okay. Just shoving them down in there. Most of the cuttings do look like this, little butterfly cuttings, butterfly cuttings, but a lot of them do have one leaf because there was so much space between each set of leaves. I think I might put one more in here, but this is good. One leafer right here. I'm gonna just stick that in there. Yay, I'm so happy. So we already have one. I think I'm gonna have two out of the propagations that we just took. Okay, I grabbed this container right here. We're just gonna keep it moving. I'm like avoiding chopping this one with the peduncle on it. I think I'm just gonna stick the whole thing in here if I'm being honest. I wanted to be able to close this though. That's the only thing. This one has three leaves on it. This is so strange. And there's another long vine. I have no idea what to do with that. I'm just gonna put this with the other. This one also has a peduncle on it. If you can see it up there. And then this is the other vine. Just gonna put them together because I don't know what to do with those yet. Uh, let's see. So far, looks a little dry. I might add some more water before I close it. This one. So I just shortened it the vine with the peduncle on it. And I think I'm gonna stick him in this container, the round one, right in the middle. So I know exactly where it is. Ooh, imagine it blooms, I'll be so happy. The Hoya Serpens blooms are beautiful. Like they really are. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to this one. This one's fine on water. And we have these two little Hoya Serpent propagations to watch grow, I'm so excited. The last two things I wanna do today consist of propagation. I wanna propagate my Syngonium. I mean, it doesn't look awful, but I really just don't wanna repot it. And as of lately, it's constantly losing leaves. So I'm literally just going to chop the plant off the entire substrate and put it into sphagnum moss. Why does she actually look pretty on camera? Too bad it's not giving that in person. Oops. This is the first cut. I'm looking absolutely crazy. Almost chopped my finger there. So we have these two. Oop. And oop. This one looks crazy. I'm gonna cut it in here. Oops, like right there. Another little tiny one. So cute. So we have this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one. How many is that? One, two, three, oops, four, five. There's five of them. I was going to put them in this little cup, but it looks too small. So I'm gonna put them in this little self-watering pot mechanism thing. I just grabbed my Clone X gel that I need to re-up on. I might have some, I don't know. Just to put it on the little cuts. I'm just shoving them in there. I just don't want it to be drooping like that. There's some nodes there, so hopefully it takes root. I should have probably put more rooting hormone. Okay, let's just try to get him in here. 
as well as possible. Okay, I think that's enough moss, and there she is. Already looks 10 times better, in my opinion. I cannot wait to see this plant root. Hopefully it doesn't die. <laughs> I do need a cover pot though, because there's slits on this pot, down the side, so before I water it, I'll have to go get that. I have this Monstera elbow that I chopped up, I don't even know how long ago, and it just started to put out new growth in the pot, if you can see it, which, took far too long honestly so i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of semi-hydro and into moss let's dump some of the substrate out first yay more substrate to clean and now you can really see well kind of really see what's going on in the pot and that's what we are working with i think what am i gonna do let's pull the other one out because there are two plants, so let's see what this one's hitting for. Oh my god, this one's gross. Gotta get gloved back up for this one. So I can pull the rot off. Ew. Ew. This is definitely going into moss, this piece. Because it's gonna do a lot better there. I can't wait to see this grow into a full plant. Plants are so freaking cool. Oh my god, this moss is dripping. Yeah, gross, but whatever. Ugh. A little bit of moss in there. What the fuck is this? Why does moss come with this kind of stuff in it? What is that? I don't think I have any more moss. I don't know though, I have to check. I will check in a sec. In a sec, I am ready to the book like. Book, book again. Might fly to LA and just Corinne. Corinne, let's get books and then just can spin them books and then just Corinne. Not me pulling moss out of another plant. Oh my God, I'm so bad. Okay, this is his little setup for now. That's exciting. I can't wait to see that grow. And then for the other one, I'm literally just gonna put it in a cup as well. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm so tempted to rip these roots. Oh, my camera's over here. Okay. I put a little moss at the bottom. I really don't have a lot of, I don't have like any substrate left. Well, I have like Lekka and Pawn and some to clean, but like I need more fluval. I literally buy moss every other week, I feel like. I need to re-up on my substrates, but that does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys.